Hello and welcome to Doodle Therapy first tutorial on doing some drawing with uh, Autodesk Sketchbook and I've been using this program for a short while and let's just jump into it. You can download this uh, software for free. You have to sign up with Autodesk to get an, an Autodesk account but just sign up it's free and then you have this very powerful software at your disposal all right well um, welcome to Autodesk sketchbook my name is Lee Bernard and we're gonna do some doodle therapy today all right so some of you may have seen some of the work that I've done and um, this is the program that I use so let's get started I generally will start with setting up a background. Um, I grab my paint bucket and then I go down here and I tap in the middle and I select a color that I think is going to be a nice background color. And then I just drop it. That to me is a bit too orange. So I'm going to um, pick a different color here. Maybe I'd do a nice gray. Ooh, that's always nice. Okay. Bear with me. My settings have changed. Okay, so my uh, settings got a little messed up, but um, I'm going to go with a little bit darker color and I'll tap that again. There we go. <coughs> to undo the, or to get off of the fill tool, you just tap the fill uh, again or click on it if you're using a mouse. Now you have all these tools over here in your uh, sidebar. If this is not available, you can click on this brush palette up here and bada boom, there you go. So if you click on that, you'll notice when you draw, nothing is there really. But there really is something there, you just can't see it because your ink or your pen color is too small or, or the same color. So here my setting is um, uh, to open up the brush properties I just double tapped over here and on the brush and now you can see I've got boy it's a hardness size of 6b so that's really soft it's a little too soft for what I like so I'll take this down to a 2b uh, I don't know what that is but yeah that's a little better and then I'm using a Wacom uh, drawing tablet to get all these uh, uh, funky pressure points Boop. and then I'm just drawing okay that's that's cool <coughs> we're gonna start over so let's see new no all right so we'll do a paint bucket We'll select a color. We'll go dark this time. And we'll drop it. Undo the paint. And I wanted to teach you a little bit about this program. This program is so powerful. It's very, very cool. We have a perspective setup. And currently we are in two point perspective which is noted right here we can do a three-point perspective and a one-point perspective so most people start drawing perspective in one point so you can draw oops I need a color that we can see so we can draw a line and then the amazing thing about this is that the um, I it will stay along whichever whichever line is most close to the direction I'm drawing so uh, this one's gonna be a little hard I'm gonna try and do it there we go all right so I can 
go right there and start my perspective and then it's about like right there and then I can come down <coughs> boom so it may not look very perspective-y right there um, but I could add another box down here and this one should come up a little bit better perspective if I draw this towards the back there we go Ooh. So the whole idea is all these lines go back to a point in space, one point. We live in a three-point perspective realm, and that's why one-point perspective starts to look kind of gamey, like um, uh, maybe some of those... Um, uh, arcade games from the 80s because a lot of those games did use one point perspective and it was very very cool you could do a lot of cool doodles <coughs> or even maps things like that okay so that's one point perspective let's go to two point perspective so let's clear Mm, we're going to go new. No, I don't want to save the document. And we're just going to use the white background here. And I'll change my pen color, my pencil color, to a darker color. And we'll do two point perspective. Now, the thing with two point perspective is that it's like looking around the corner of a building, right? Let's say that's the corner of the building on the street and here's the roof line and it's one of these row houses that goes pretty far back into space and then after you turn the corner it goes back into space that way so you just go ahead and paint that in and then we can draw a little you know here's the the end of the block and right here is a mighty doorway for one of the buildings maybe there's a, a row of windows all the way along all the way to the corner yep and then you kind of gotta guess where does the window go to that looks about right and then you can pick up that line right there and draw another you kind of gotta eyeball it but yeah that's that'll work oh yeah oh yeah that's a good line so if we come here then we grow them back in space this way <coughs> so we're gonna do the same thing on this side and we'll draw that in and we kind of gotta guesstimate where it's going so all these lines go to that point on this side and all these lines go to this point on this side so no matter what you do you're gonna have you know if you have an office building with a ton of windows they're all gonna go back to this point back here oh la 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 pen doesn't want to work here and then um, yeah and uh, let's say on this side there's like a a big window up on the second story don't worry about these extra lines we'll take care of them in a minute here oh but you know what there's another building that's cropping out and it goes to the corner of this building uh-oh, what do we do there? Well, the great thing about this pen is it has an eraser. Oh, it'll erase along that line. Ah. So I'm just erasing. Uh, 
All right, so now we can add the back line on that window and let's make this building taller. So it's now going to go back behind this building boop, and come to the sidewalk here. Maybe that sidewalk is a it's not very high but there's a curb and you want to get that in just for realism purposes why is this not drawing there we go and then <coughs> <coughs> see this it's like the it's like the sidewalk goes behind this building now we're doing some MC Escher shit. There you go. Then we come down here, and then this comes down here like this, and we tie it in there. Why weird stuff going on with this building? So here's where I made the mistake. This should go like that. Yeah, and then erase. Yeah, so now it's two-point perspective, you know, and you're getting the air vent from the factory up here. Maybe on this side you have like another big window. It's like a atrium type window. There's lots of people in there. So in, to turn that off, you, you can draw your people in here. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, little people everywhere. Or do some art design. You know what we forgot was another window over here. Or doorway. And we're going to make it a double door on this side. And of course that doorway is a, was a door jam. So it's always got to, you got to, you got to remember, do the details. You know, oh, look at that. It's like a line going back into the building. Here, we'll do one over here like that too. Look at that, very cool. I need to erase, uh, let's take that off and now I can erase wherever. Yep, okay. And so if you wanted to make as much details like a ton of bricks or whatever, you pick another color and then you're your brick lines are all going to be in that same oops that's where you get the undo key that undo key right there is super good <coughs> yep now if you want to do some free draw on here let's say there's like uh a medallion above the above the uh, doorway and there's a door in here you know just put it in kind of would be like a double door over here double door over here kind of like this like this all right so there's two-point perspective and if we turn it back on you can see all the points going to this or this over here so let's jump into a little bit of three-point perspective um, hello new yeah we'll save it why not same all right let's try three-point perspective boom all right so let's put this like this and you'll start to see some crazy stuff start to happen so let's say we're gonna do the similar building that we just did
Nah, let's not do that. We'll do a new one. No. We'll turn on our three-point perspective. And I want to show you this like this. So let's say this is the top of a building up here. We got a skyscraper. And then we've got a long face. This is the front corner of the building. Coming way down into space here. We're going to come down. There's another jog out on the side of the building. And go in again just a little bit. <coughs> And then you come back down so you start to see that building come to life oops there we go and let's say this one's there too and it is And we'll just continue this face down. Now you want to see like this point will connect to there. So you want to sort of end it. <coughs> oh. End it close. I'll just get rid of that line. Some of these little extra lines, sometimes they'll be fun to leave. But right now we'll, we're just learning perspective. So here's where three-point perspective can get kind of fun. All right, so that's three-point. Let's go with new. Now let's do three-point perspective again, and we'll bring that. We'll bring everything a little closer together. Okay, so we'll go up and up like this, and. We'll go like this. Huh. That gets just darn right messy.
maybe there's another one back here. Perspective starts to do some pretty weird stuff. I got those wrong. But we'll go ahead and fix them. Alright, so now I've got some lines in perspective. And we can play with them. With the paint bucket, you can go ahead and fill. Oops. Hit that handy dandy undo button. But you can you can grab like a marker. That marker's huge. And double tap. Take your marker size back down. And then you can sort of paint. Or you can use a brush. Brush is more painterly, like it goes on in layers. Maybe a little easier to work with. Another, like this um, airbrush, and cover big, big areas pretty quickly. You can change the airbrush size. I'm just pushing a little harder now. change this a little bit smaller it's really just all about having fun darken your back edge a little bit just kind of splash the color in it's okay just for goddamn fun if you wanted to add a little different color to it maybe these are some of these buildings are bluish put it in there a little bit you know and everybody thinks like that one stroke is the one that's gonna wreck the whole f thing and I'm telling you it's it's not it doesn't matter you can cover stuff up you can you can add another one or sometimes you know you just get some good shitty drawing but who cares you know that's why we do many of them. Occasionally one pops out at us like, hmm, that's nice. It's 
So down here, I want to get real dark. Mm -hmm. I'm going to outline it. Come back, come back, come back. My art school teacher would kill me if he saw me doing this shit. Just scribbling. Take that, Iggy. Uh, Iggy Widgie Praja. Put a little more black, darken it in. Splash of dash, dash of splash. So you can do this, and then what's really cool is you can come back in. Um, and sharpen everything up again. So, let's do that. Let's go to our ruler. And I want my ruler point like right there. And right there. And I want to have an ink pen. Woo! Who was using this? And then I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to just draw a nice line. And then I'm going to move this over. Let's see, I can put it right there. And right like there. Put that in. And I can put this right there that looks about right and then how about like there and there you know what was really cool is I saw that X kind of going through let's give some structural steel to this one Flip this back around this way. I don't know if you've seen the John Hancock building in Chicago, but it's kind of got some of that kind of steel girder structure going on. Crissity cracks. Like that. We'll take this one all the way down to here line it up it's real easy there we go come down to there come down to there do something like that and you see it's already taking shape we need to put some of these lines in I think but it'll, it'll come to it'll come through and so if you move this line straight up it's going to be wrong because the perspective is changing oh see so no big deal I'm going to change it up like that and we'll put like a top on this building yeah nice I'm going to turn my ruler off I'm going to add this back in here kind of sketch it in sketch it in sketch it in Woo! who taught me how to draw that was a pretty good straight line for next to horse shit. This is my drawing. Some of these lines are alright. You know, so there you go. And then there's a helicopter. Put a little guy in there. That's it. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial on drawing perspective. 
and uh, like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell for more coming up later.